this week's episode of Pharma Harma, we're going to talk about a class of medications called ARBs. That stands for angiotensin receptor blockers. I'm going to put these up on the screen so that you can record it and know what drugs are ARBs. So let's put those up for you. Atacand, Avapro, Binacar, Cozar, Divan, Micartis, and Tevatine. In parentheses, we list the generic name of the medication. So again, pause and take that screenshot if you want to go through those. But why are we talking about ARBs today? Well, one of the reasons why is these drugs are commonly prescribed for people that have high blood pressure. It's, it's one of the more commonly prescribed class of medications. And so 874 million people with high blood pressure globally, that stands to say a lot of folks are going to be on these types of medications. So why is that important to understand? Because research studies now are showing that this class of drugs can cause gastrointestinal inflammation and damage that looks exactly like celiac disease. And so what that means for you, if you've been diagnosed with celiac disease, maybe if you're taking one of these medications, the damage is, was caused by the drug and not gluten. So it's possible you might not be gluten sensitive and that you might just be sensitive to the medication. But why else is this important? Now, side effects of this class of medication we'll put up on the board on the screen for you include dizziness, headache, drowsiness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, cough, elevated potassium levels, which is a big danger, low blood pressure, muscle and bone pain, as well as skin rashes. Not a pretty list. But beyond that, why is this important information to understand? Look, these drugs cause intestinal inflammation that can look just like celiac disease to your doctor. So if you've been taking these medications, short-term or long-term, studies show that it's not just an acute side effect. You could be on this drug for five years and start developing diarrhea, go to the doctor, and they could diagnose you with celiac disease and be wrong because, again, the drug's side effects can mimic the damage that celiac disease uh, manifests with or that gluten can cause. So it's very important that you understand these drugs can cause identically what looks like celiac disease. Now, if you look at what I've got here on the screen, this study was published in 2012 by Mayo Clinic Proceedings. And the conclusion of the study was that the drug Olmosartan is associated with a severe form of sprue-like enteropathy. Let's make that sound like normal English. Basically, Olmosartan can cause damage that mimics celiac disease. Now, since this study was published in 2012, there have been 107 more studies and case reports in the medical literature on the same thing, but it doesn't stop at that type of medication. You can see in this next research study, telmosartan was also shown to cause sprue-like enteropathy. You can see in this next study that eprosartan also can do it. So you've got multiple classes of ARBs, angiotensin receptor blocker medications, have been shown to, again, emulate or mimic the intestinal damage that celiac disease represents. Now, if you look at this study published in 2021, it's actually a research study showing that patients with celiac disease, properly diagnosed celiac disease, who are taking these medications don't heal as well. And I quote, check this out, celiac patients who take ARBs are more likely to have persistent symptoms and lower rates of mucosal healing than their age-matched celiac controls. Why is that important? Because if you are gluten sensitive and have celiac disease, but you're on this blood pressure medication and you're not responding to your gluten-free diet, that's a problem, right? Because it could be the medicine that's causing it. And when patients don't respond to a gluten-free diet, doctors label that refractory celiac disease. What does that mean? That means you don't respond to the diet. And what's the treatment for refractory celiac disease? It's high dose immunosuppressant drugs and steroids, which come with their whole list of side effects and problems as well. So you don't wanna get sucked into that vortex of drug induced problems. So again, if you are celiac or gluten sensitive and you're not responding to your diet and you're taking one of these medications, you definitely want to be aware that the medication may be contributing to the persistence of illness that you're experiencing.